that's it guys got a whole lot to show you today make sure you subscribe got a whole lot to show you stay tuned in make sure you hit that bell too welcome to the show all right, Dub Nation, what's going on? It's been a while since I gave you guys an update on the truck. Everything is going great according to plan. Did plenty of upgrades to the truck. Let's start with the outside. First thing I did was, uh, first thing we're going to start with is the grill. I actually bought a black grill from another uh, Jeep and I didn't like the way it looked because it seemed like it was an older grill and I didn't like the way the mesh was in between so I actually took my grill to the paint shop, the body shop and got my grill that was on here that was the color of the car and I got that painted black and it's a shiny metallic black it looks great I love it outside what else did we do we um we recently added the boiler exhaust the boiler attack exhaust on the back it sounds amazing. I think it sounds awesome. Let me start the car real fast. Maybe you guys can hear it. I'm not sure if the, muff, if the uh, microphone can pick that up. Let's see. You heard that? Real deep. Sounds crazy. I love it. It's like quiet, but it's real, real deep. And I, 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 I absolutely love it, right? I love the way it sounds, especially on Expressway when it gets going. It sounds really, really good, really, really powerful, really, really deep. And I think it did give me a little bit more horsepower. Just a tiny bit, all right? But overall, I love the sound. I'm happy with it. All right, inside, of course, you guys know the custom seats. The uh, You guys remember the custom seats, A-Dub Productions custom seats. I would have, did, I should have did the back two, guys. If you are going to get this modification right, make sure you get the back two because you're going to regret it if you don't. But both seats up front. I'm up front. My passenger's always up front, so that nobody's ever in the back. Um, so I just decided to just, just do the front end. I'm happy with it. I'm not gonna go back and get these leather seats in the back removed so I can get the back down. I should have got it done the right the right way in the first place, right? So that's why I'm not skimping on any of the other upgrades that we're gonna do. So the most recent thing that's about to go down today is shout out to Panoramic Jeep. They are sending an 18 wheeler out here. It should arrive any moment now. I'm waiting for a phone call and they're gonna load up the truck, load up this truck, on that big old 18 wheeler and drive it all the way down to Texas where my guy from Panoramic Jeep Nixon he's gonna be cutting out this panel cutting out this panel cutting out the big back panel and putting in glass at the top tinted glass so this is gonna be a panoramic Jeep so you're never you're not gonna see this black top any this uh, white top anymore in videos you're just gonna see the sky baby and that's gonna set my part my Jeep apart from everybody else's that's in Philadelphia I think Pennsylvania. I don't know who else has this in Pennsylvania, but uh, I think Panoramic Jeep is the only place that does it in the country. So hit me up if you guys want his contact. I'll let you guys know. I'll, you know, uh, yeah, it's going to be great. What else have I done in the back? You guys know about the JLs up top, boat speakers up top. Um, you guys don't know, haven't seen, maybe, no, you haven't seen that I added the stealth box. I got two stealth boxes, one on each side. The system is freaking amazing, loud as hell, guys. Um, I can have every neighbor come outside with this system. It's crazy. I, I've, I haven't turned it up all the way yet. I, um, it, I think it goes. The radio goes up to 31. I've only had it to for whatever whatever that means, right? But um, I've only had it to about 26. I'm scared to take it up any louder because at that decibel and that noise level um it feels like my eardrums i'm gonna like suffer from hearing loss so we're not gonna mess around with that but the system is crazy everything is crystal clear i added speakers i changed the speakers up here right as you guys can see i changed the speakers um up here these are alpines in here let me see if i can show you that well i'll get a b-roll shot of that um of course the x uh the alpine x409 system love this thing this head unit is just bananas um what can i say about it man um the best thing my favorite feature and the reason why that made me get this specific head unit is the re this, uh because it has a hdmi port right down here um you can plug in anything that has a full size hdmi 
a camera, a laptop, your cell phone, because they have the um, HDMI uh, standard for your cell phone to, to convert it to large HDMI. You can look at your cell phone screen on here. You can watch music videos on here. You can do everything on this thing. Apple CarPlay, everything. I love this thing. Oh, yeah, and if you want to buy an Alpine X409, um, use my Amazon link down in the description below to purchase yours. This unit is awesome. You will not be disappointed. I know there's another mod that I'm mixing. I'm missing. Oh yeah, uh, waiting right now for FedEx to arrive. Also, they're dropping off a um, tailgate that I purchased. Um, what it what it does is, when you open up the tailgate, you can like detach that whole plastic section. This part is gonna attach, reattach to that. When you remove that plastic section, it's gonna attach that plastic plastic section, and it's gonna be a fold down table that opens up. Um, it folds down and then a piece of a uh, thick piece of bamboo like another table slides out from underneath so you have kind of like two tables it's gonna be dope man it's gonna be dope um, small mom and pop um, business uh, has that table I'm gonna put the link in the description below I'm not affiliated with them or anything but I'm gonna put their description um, their information in the description below so you guys can check it out if you guys want to see exactly what I'm talking about or if you guys want to do something for your Jeep it's more on the, more on the expensive line but I'm not skimping on anything else because I want to do stuff right do get the stuff that I really want right now so I don't do the same thing like I did on the seats right okay so also we have coming in the mail our wheels and tires we went with these brand new fuel wheels and 35 inch niddle grapplers of course we put the niddles on there um, 35 inches right no lift so I'm gonna ride around with that for a little while and see how I like it if I you know and then if I want to do the lift I'll do like a two inch lift or something like that guys so that's all the stuff that we've done to the truck I think yeah we changed the front speakers um, changed over top speaker down here we changed all the we changed all the factory speakers speakers down there changed um in the back we added sound this thing is just deep we got a big old amp in the back um we have a power distributor i forgot what it's called to, because the system is so powerful that um it, it was going out so we have to had to put that in there so we can um keep power to power the system right it's it's just it's just bananas it's great and um yeah i think that is it for the upgrades that we've done but after we get this panoramic it's gonna transform the whole truck and by the time the truck comes back we're just gonna slap on the wheels and it's gonna be dope it's gonna be a totally different truck look <laughs> running with a dog <laughs> also guys what I like what I've done right here is I added these little connectors so I can connect my cell phone passenger can connect their cell phone got my GoPro session mount I can face that in or out or I can take it off and put on a regular GoPro I got a full camera mount right here with a quarter insert it just screws right in I love this thing right here full-size camera and I also have a mount for another GoPro right here all of this comes in handy for making videos I think it is dope let me know what you think in the comments down below uh -huh. my table <laughs> How you doing, man? Nice. As you guys can see, we have received our table for the tailgate of the truck. It is going to be awesome. So this part, the plastic part that says Jeep on it, it basically comes off the whole plastic part and then the part that we just got just pushes right on and replaces that part and then when the table folds down it's there's a bamboo table just tucked inside of it slides out and then you have room right here for partying and activities for tailgating and outdoor activities it's gonna be <sighs> please please guys excuse the mess let us unbox this item right here can't wait to see how it came see what's inside shouts out to the little tiny company outback um i'll put the name down in the description below but um little small mom and pop company um this part was pretty expensive but the most expensive tailgate you can buy for your truck 
but it was the most useful one I think so I think you guys are gonna love it I think you guys that have Jeeps are gonna want one um yeah so all right let's check it out let's open it up and let's check it out and, uh, I'm gonna leave this box right here like that should I open up the whole box I'm not taking it back but I might take it to get painted so maybe I shouldn't yeah Here it is right here guys. Here it is right here. Looks dope. I love it. Wow. Awesome. Comes with install clips and everything. Very, very good presentation for small mom and pop company. Very, very good. Alright guys, so we got the tailgate out of the box. We are going to install it. We just, all we gotta do is pop this panel off right here and pop that one into its place and then screw in, in a couple screws. Uh, only thing I need is a trim removal tool. I got one of those, gonna go grab it in a second, and a screwdriver. All right, so we got our trim removal tool right here. This should be relatively easy. Just pop it in there. And I actually took it off already, but I forgot to film myself doing it. So I'm gonna do it again for you guys. But just pass it on and you just pop these little latches right here. Really quite simple, really quite easy. Alright. Pop it along the sides. Alright, and that's it. Take them all out. And you got the back piece off and this is what you're left with right here. So, Alright, so now we gotta take these tabs out and replace them with these ones that came with the uh with the unit. Alright, so let's start popping those in. Just pop them right in. He's a little bigger and he more heavy duty. So you take those old ones out and put these new ones in. Alright, there we go. I want to show y'all how easy they made this, right? They literally have a picture of where all these clips are supposed to go like you can't get any easier than that you got million dollar companies that don't make it this easy all right and this little small mom and pop company figured it out put the little clips right here got arrows pointing to all of them same picture right there all i did was follow the directions right i didn't even read anything i just looked at the pictures then you got these gaskets right here a picture of these gaskets so i put one on right there one on right there I still haven't read anything <laughs> they look at the pictures right and now Let's finish it up. When I tell y'all this is the best Jeep modification ever, oh my gosh. Uh, it's no rattle at all. Pull this pin right here on the side. Pull this one right here on the side. And your table folds out, right? And then you got a cutting board on the side so you got more room. Best Jeep mod ever. And you just slap that bad boy back up there in place and it locks right back into place with these little pins. You just pull one. So this cutting board has to be exactly in the right spot on both sides in order for it to lock into place. <laughs> there is like zero wiggle. Oh my gosh. No knocking, no nothing. Only thing that might clap is this little ring right here. But that's about it. Like, this thing is crazy. Best Jeep mod ever. Let's give you all a full understanding of how this thing works right here. Just pull right here, pull right here, and you got your table. All right? Two little room. Pull this out. You got a cutting board right here. Now you can sit whatever you want here. Pull it up. This bamboo has to be in a exact position for it to fold back up or else it won't go it has to fit exactly between these two little metal pieces right here exactly in, in the right place for this to lock in all right yep and both of them lock in no rattle zero rattle this is sturdy um the rubber bushings make it so that the bamboo doesn't move maybe the bottom part but you gotta physically move that but 
this is a solid unit best Jeep upgrade ever I think we got a truck pulling up guys not too far all right all right what are you living huh where are you living where I live yeah right here now you living here why you move this car Oh, where am I? Uh, it's going to Texas, right? Yes. Yeah. Why? Oh, they're doing the roof. Panoramic roof. Panorama. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. There we go, guys. Studying in Alaska's. Uh huh. Nation, here we go truck is about to go bye bye these guys right here are taking it off the panoramic jeep to get the top done appreciate you guys man Woo. this is going to be interesting to watch very very interesting I'm like i know it ain't going down there is it they got a uh, Audi right there, SUV. Is it going at the bottom? Yeah. At the bottom? Maybe. Oh, oh, top. Okay. Top. Oh, okay. I gotta see this. Nation, here we go. The truck is about to go bye bye. These guys right here are. Bottom always see done, you know. Yeah. Bottom always see done. Oh, okay. Nation, here we go. Crazy. We just brought that down. Take a picture. Sure oh, you want to YouTube? Yeah, that's my YouTube oh, channel my, right there. Oh my, come on, man. Yeah, I'm looking. Yeah, you're going to be on my channel, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not on that one, though. You're going to be on the other one. Uh -oh. Alan Lillian, my name, yeah. What? Stop. Yeah. Where's your kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's your kids? Where's your kids? Where's your kids? Alright, thanks man. Good. Got it. Next one. That's it? Okay. Okay. Well, you drove that up there like it was nothing. Yeah, we have Jeep with you for a little while. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be tough. We can have less than Nixon says it's going to take one week. Are you telling me that? Drive it down there. Do the install, drive it back. Of course, they're not driving. It's coming back. Oh, it's like that. Yeah. Just like that. Big time for Pierre. Right there. 
that shit. It's heavy duty joints too. These ain't no lightness. Not the ones like I do motorcycles. Big ones. Y'all gotta pick up any more cars before y'all go? Three cars. Three more? Yeah. So I'm going to Mannheim, one, you know? Two, three. Mannheim Old Auction? Yeah. Thank you, bro. Oh, Have man. a nice day. Take it easy. Yeah, I gotta pick up any more cars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're leaving. They got the truck. <laughs> I feel like crying. <laughs> No, nah, I'm I'm glad. I'm glad we're doing it, man. <sighs> so there it is. The Jeep is gone. Now I will be driving the RAV4 for a week and a half. Maybe one week. It's supposed to be one week. And this Friday does not start the week. I guess the week starts on Monday. I don't know. A week and a half pretty much but when I get it back it'd be worth it so yeah that's it guys see you later thanks for watching turn up that crank it up why listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best baby